right, guys. Shea Bear 1000 here. I got Monkey. monkeys over there. So today, we're going to be taking everything off the boat. We're going to flip it over in front of the vet. And we're going to start stripping the paint. We're going to seal the bottom. And we're going to paint it. Huh? Yeah. But I'm going to time lapse you through like taking the motors off and stuff like that because it's not real interesting right so <clears throat> it's not really a how-to it's just what we're doing so stick around it's gonna be a lot of fun it's gonna take a couple days yeah so let's get to it So far, this has got some fiberglass on it from when these were put on. I can take them off real easy, but I want to leave them on there because it really helps the boat, keeps it from fishtailing in the water and stuff. So, first thing we're going to do now is we're going to put some paint stripper on here. Monkey's going to start stripping. Family channel. <laughs> Why I didn't raise so. And then, once we get all this off here, we're going to go over it with a wire brush. Well, on the drill and on the grinder. And we're going to clean all this aluminum off real good. And up here, as you can see, you know, what was that? Is that this camera? As you can see, you know, I got to seal this up. So I'll probably reinforce this with some fiberglass. I got some um, fiberglass stuff that we went and picked up. And so we're gonna see what happens. That's just from beaching it. That's what these things are made for. You just run them right up onto the bank. So, and then we're gonna seal. I got some sealer, I hope I got enough. We're gonna seal all these pieces here. And, Whatever we may run into here, I'm not sure. It is a 1969, so we'll seal what we got to seal, you know. So, not sure what's going on here, but we'll find out. And then we'll just seal the whole bottom of the boat. If I got to get more sealer, I'll have to get more sealer, you know. So I like this might be taking longer than we think. Yeah, because I might have to order some sealer. I got to get some clear coat because once it's spray painted, we're going to clear coat it, keep the paint from chipping off and stuff. And besides, whoever painted this used just interior house paint. That's what's flaking off. Is that what it is? Yeah. So, all right, guys. We bought boat paint. Yeah, I, I bought the marine grade stuff. So. Yeah, we'll just get all this. This is where I sealed some of that before. So, yeah. So there's what we're looking at. So we're just going to start throwing some of the paint stripper on there. And start grinding away. This here, I'll have to cut some of this back. Make sure that's all nice and clean. Same way with on this side here. 
which they did it right just they either didn't get it clean enough or just over time see I'll have to cut this back towards nice and solid and then I'll however far I gotta go with the mesh fiberglass mesh and then we'll put the sealer stuff over top of it get it all cleaned up and uh, you know these these old boats you know they're just all rivets but a lot of rivets in this thing so, and I'm not going to re redo all them so no all right let's get the stripping what we're looking at this I just used resin on it didn't need any glass it didn't need any glass in it it was just starting to pick up a little bit so the resin will hold that down I still got some work to do on these fins here and this I did have to put some glass down so I put some glass down then put a heavy coat of resin on it and I got some more work to do on this one. But we're going to call it a day. We've only got a couple hours in it so far, but it's like super hot. I am going to reinforce this with glass. I put some rev resin on here, and then I'll go with some glass from here, about up to here. Like I said, we beat you this thing all the time, so just kind of a little just a reinforcement just well not really a reinforcement but to help you know keep from dragging the rivets off that's why them rivet heads are missing there because you know when you drag it so much that's what these things are built for still not sure what's going on here yet but I'll put some resin over that and then we'll get to sealing it I think I may have to order some more seal I'm not sure but she told me to order when I ordered all the stuff she told me to order clear coat and I forgot so I'm gonna have to order some clear coat because once you put the paint on you know when you're running this thing up on shore and stuff you know it'll just scratch the paint off so I'm gonna clear coat it I'll end up I'll clear clear coat the whole thing so monkeys help me clean up so this is part one I think she's gonna do several parts too huh Monk? Yep. so she's gonna have it on her channel like I said a lot of this is uh like taking the motor and stuff like that off you know you just it's self-explanatory you just unscrew the two hand knobs on it and it just picks right off so we just pretty much uh uh she did the same thing she's going or she's going to be doing the same thing um just time lapsed it for you but that's what we're that's what we're doing uh, the bottom of the boat is not in as bad a shape as I thought it would be. I mean, it's still fairly straight. It's got some dings in it, but no, I figured it, it would have some big dents in it, but it, it doesn't. So, uh, I'm pretty good with that for a 1969. Damn thing's 52 years old. You'd think it'd be beat up more than that, but it must have been well taken care of. Uh, probably better than we do. <laughs> but there may be just drug up to the back of a truck you know um we trailer this one uh we don't run it up concrete of course you know like the ramp the boat ramp we won't do that but the sand and the dirt and stuff like that it doesn't hurt to beach these that's what we call them beaching them just run it right up on there just enough to where you can get out and then you pull it right up on to shore or wherever you know you want to pull it to but so yeah pretty cool huh mama yeah it's gonna be great ain't it yep and the blue still gonna be blue but it's gonna be a sapphire blue yeah. monkey was going sapphire <laughs> earlier do it again huh. do that sapphire. again sapphire so but we're gonna keep on keeping on with it so 
Okay, guys, I don't know what's going on, but as far as I'm aware, no one's supposed to be over at Jerry's house. And somebody's there. I walked over there, and they've got the doors and the hatch opened on that little SUV. And I heard voices in that room right there. So, waiting on a deputy to come and check them out and see what's going on. Okay, so we got two deputies. And that deputy there I just talked to, he said he was there that day, so. I'll get my tripod. Okay, we got one more coming now. They got here pretty quick. It was like 10 minutes they were here. that's a that's a Ford SUV I did walk around there and they had all the doors open on that SUV and the hatchback was up Okay, so this front car that's right beyond them trees right there. Another deputy just got out of. So there's a total of four deputies in there. So I'm not sure what's going on yet. We'll find out. There's one deputy in front of the vehicle. might be checking checking everything to make sure everything's cool like I said I'm not aware of anybody that's supposed to be there but you never know and uh, when monkey before monkey bought this house it was empty five years and then people just went in ransacked it and they uh, you know just pretty much destroyed the walls and spray paint you know graffitied so we don't want that happening over here Okay, so we just had one leave. He must have been on a call. That's his sirens there. He got down in the street and turned his sirens on, so he must have got a call, but uh, there's still three officers in there. So I'm not sure what's going on yet. I'll update you as soon as I find out anything. Okay, so he said the tags on that vehicle was from an old vehicle that she never switched. So apparently they're running fictitious tags, so. Just weird, I hate to be that guy, but it's just weird, you know? Okay, so the first responding officer just left and he told me that that's a girl and she's homeless so I'm not sure what's going on but he said you know which I knew but 
there's two deputies over here still taking care of it so I don't know what's going on I don't know if she's trying to sleep in there or what that's pretty brazen just pull up in broad daylight and park there like you own the place and because you're homeless and like I said I did hear him say that the tags came back to another vehicle and she just never switched them over yet so I don't know what they're going to do but I know that house was secure so for her to be inside that house she had to have broken in somewhere or another so i just seen the girl that they're talking about walk around the front of the vehicle sound like she was closing her doors so <clears throat> not sure if they're just gonna let her go or what but she had to have broken in because i do know that house is secure and the bank guy comes over Oh, approximately once a week and checks the doors and the windows and takes pictures of the house and but the the house is not for sale so I don't know why the bank is involved but the bank is the ones that take care of the place you know and everybody always parks out front here and uh, same way with the lawn guys someone's still paying to keep the lawn up and blow the leaves off the roof and stuff like that so Still not sure what's going on yet. They might not even tell me, I don't know, but all he said was, it's a girl and she's homeless. But I did hear him say that the tags were off of another vehicle that she never switched over yet. So, I don't know, looked like a younger girl to me, maybe 20s, but it's hard to tell from here. So, not sure, not sure. I'll keep you updated. Okay, so I just talked to the officers. She left, they secured it. It was totally unsecure, which is weird. All the doors were unlocked and everything. Now, as they was getting in their car, I seen her run around back and grab something out of the bushes. And he said, oh yeah, probably her dope, but they're so backed up right now. I'm like, Jesus, you know? So, apparently, she told them that she was trying to get out of a bad relationship. And, uh, like he said, I, I'm thinking the same thing, just looking for another flop house. But I did, she ran around there and grabbed something out of the bushes. And he said, yeah, probably her dope. So, <clears throat> anyway, they let her go. And I'm just going to have to keep a better on the place. He said, that he did secure it up the best he could, so someone had gotten in there through the garage and then apparently unlocked all the doors, so I'm just gonna have to keep a better eye on the place. That's ridiculous, man. They don't need to be in there tearing up the place. It's not abandoned, so anyway, yeah, he they just they had to let her go so but yeah he said probably her dope but he says we're so busy right now they're all on going to other calls right now so yeah she ran right over in them bushes and grabbed something in a bag and ran around and got in the vehicle so, so I don't know but I'm telling you when I walked over there, I heard a guy's voice. So I'm not sure. I heard more than one voice, but I know I heard a guy's voice. And they said she was there by herself. So I don't know if maybe he's seen him pulling up and shagged ass out the back or not. But it just seems awful fishy. So anyway, there's a good vlog for you. Uh, monkey's doing a thing for court about her car accident. Uh, the first one and she's been fighting him on and off for over four years now so well over three anyway so hopefully they can come to a conclusion today but she's in there on her computer with her headset and so she's actually 
it's actually it's virtual court is what it is so anyway guys that's that's that so well we only got a couple hours in this thing yeah because we had to go and get stuff and yeah we had to go and get stuff uh, we wire wheels and then we had to go back and get the fiberglass because um where i showed you where i put the fiberglass and the resin on was actually on the bunks of the boat when i was under there before so you know i couldn't see that part because i was sitting on the bunks but it's no big deal so we just went ahead and got extra stuff and just in case you never know um so anyway guys thanks for watching appreciate it shea bear the myth the man the legend i'm gone for now monk i don't know if you heard her but she's says she's out for now thanks for watching guys appreciate it i'm gonna go and rest for a little bit <laughs> we'll see you guys soon bye bye take care